Hello friends, in this video we shall see the use of print statement to display the output to the default output device that is the monitor or display graphical display device. The simplest way to display or produce the output is to use a inbuilt function in python called as print. There is a bracket or parenthesis in front of it and the operand or the value to be printed is written inside the bracket. The print statement requires either there can be nothing inside the bracket so that means it is, it is having a zero argument or no argument at all so it what it will do it will print nothing right or it can have multiple number of arguments which are separated by commas. So this is the way in which the print function is used. What this function perform, does is this, func this function converts the expressions you pass the, f the expressions the argument that you pass to this are converted in a string format and the string is written to the standard output device which is actually called as stdout in the sys module these two default devices are defined sys.stdout and sys.stdin this is the output device default output device which is the uh, monitor and default input device is your keyboard. So if you want to generate or display output on the default output device which is the monitor you use the print function ok. So print can be used in different ways print can be given string formatting uh, you know uh, characters to format the output in a particular manner print can be used along with a certain delimiter what is the default delimiter and what is the specified delimiter that we will see for that what I will do I will demonstrate to you the different ways in which the print function is used by writing a python script in front of you and you know verifying the output of that print function. Now print is the default output statement in python this program will show some more characteristics of the print statement. In the beginning I have defined these two variables name and age, name is a string variable and age is a numeric variable. So and I am just trying to print the values of these two variables. The behavior of the print statement is such that the output of each statement is immediately followed by a new line. So that means what these two name is equal to Rahul and age is equal to 21 they will appear one below the other because of the fact that the print statement is terminated with a new line every time. You can of course give as many arguments in the or for the print function as you want by separating the arguments with comma. So the output will be name equal to Rahul comma age equal to 21 like this. The default behavior of the print you know function of delimiting the output with a new line can be changed by specifically mentioning the you know string or character you want to be used as the delimiter by using the end parameter. So if I write end is equal to a space then instead of the new line the print statement will terminate with the with uh, the space character. So as a result what will happen the subsequent print statement the output of the following print statement will be in continuation of the above. So what will happen if you consider these two statements the output will be name Rahul in the same line age is equal to 21 will appear this will be different from this in this case the two values are printed on two line two different lines this will be only one line on your monitor 
just like as we are used to using the format specifiers in C like percent %C, percent %D, percent %S etc. The same format specifiers can also be used in Python also. So what will happen? The values of the name will be substituted at the percent %S and the value of the age will be substituted at percent %D. Remember that you have to ensure that the format specifiers match with the type of the variable that you are printing. So this will generate the output name Rahul age you know 21. If I try to take the inputs for this, remember that the input function reads the data from the input device always in the form of a string. So name anyway will be a string but even if the variable is age and if you are saying input enter age whatever the number that you enter suppose you enter 21 or 12 so even though you feel that this is a number this will be in fact stored in the variable called age in the form of a string so in other words the age will here be a string variable so this will cause a problem here what problem will be there because if, because age is a string variable it cannot be converted by the percent %d format specifier which is used for integer so i expect a type mismatch related error in this statement so let us see whether our fear is really true or not by running this So I will enter the name and I will enter the age. So there you see the this statement last print statement is generating a type error because the name the value of the variable age is a string and you are trying to convert it using the percent %d format which is not possible. So this is how the print function behaves.